Keith Rucker here at VintageMachinery.org. So uh, we're going to be still working on uh, the new furnace and uh, going to be making a few modifications to the fabrication uh, of this base that we worked on the last episode. So uh, we talked about in the first episode how I was a little bit concerned with it being a little bit uh, tipsy with these legs being on the inside. And the, and the idea here is I need a pallet jack to be able to go up underneath this, uh, but with the, le the legs not being on the corners, you know, we just don't have the stability. So as I mentioned in that last video, I'm gonna put some little outriggers on here. And uh, this is gonna come out wide enough, enough for the platform, to, the pallet jack to go in the front or in, in between these, uh, these legs. And uh, so I've gone ahead and cut my metal um, to put these on here. And we're gonna go ahead and do that. Also gonna make a little slight modification to the front. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. And we've got our metal bent up uh, the hoop that will, the ring that the uh, casting will go in on the bottom, we're going to go ahead and put that together and uh, get that on here as well. So let's get started. So these outrigger legs, the way I'm going to do them is I just, I cut some 45 notches in there and we'll weld these together. And then that right there will butt up against the side of the, uh, the piece and uh, that should give me plenty of stability and uh, as far as the strength of the weld, as well as uh, giving me a wider platform in the back uh, to keep this thing from tipping over. So I've got the, the 45s cut, the metal cut, and again, I'm just using one of these little 90 degree magnets in there to help set this up. Uh, we'll tack that in place and uh, weld it up. I want to take a minute here and kind of show you what we are doing on this back side here. Uh, you saw me weld the, the outriggers on, uh, but I wanted to give it a little more stability and a little bit more surface area for this to make contact with the floor um, for several reasons. And several of you guys commented in my last video about if we're on sand, these, this channel, if it had a lot of weight on it, could go down into the sand. And anyway, I decided it would be better to put a bigger pad on here. So we welded these across uh, the bottom and the pallet jack will roll right over that just like it rolls across the board on the bottom of a pallet. It'll easily fit through this slot uh, without any problem and then that right there uh, will add some strength to the total strength holding this outrigger leg in place as well as uh, giving me a bigger footprint uh, to sit on the ground. I've still got two contact points in the back so I'm still kind of working off of that tripod idea uh, we're, at, we're on, particularly on uneven ground. I said this before, on, on uneven ground, a tripod or three legs is always going to be more stable than four. Uh, so we're still kind of got three le or two legs here in the back and one leg in the front. We've got a wider leg than we had before, which will distribute that weight, but still give me two pads here in the back. And then in the front, we're going to do something similar. We're going to come up and put a wider pad across the front as well. That'll be my next step here. So now for the front leg, I want to do something similar. I want to put a piece across the front. And what I've got here is just a piece of uh, band iron, it's quarter inch thick, two inches wide, fits down in between the channel. And uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to, I marked it to the height of this on both sides and we're just going to put a bend in there and it should wrap around and give support and give me a wider foot in the front and also the legs will go out to the end to give some more support uh, to this. And that, between those uh, three points, I think we'll have plenty of stability in this. 
So uh, we're going to put this in the vise now, heat it up, and put those bins in. I've got that in the vise where I want my bend. So uh, we're going to put some heat on it and we'll bend it over. I checked this first bend and it's a little bit high. I was afraid of that, so we're gonna raise it up a little bit more. And uh, we'll just have to cut this one off uh, to make it the right height on the other side. Let's go ahead and put the other bend in here. So you can see what we got here now. We got this wider footprint here again. This can give us a lot more stability on the front as well and still have room for our pallet forks uh, to clear on either side. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, weld that in place. All right, guys, so what do you think about this? I think this is uh, going to be a lot more stable. Uh, going to give me a wider footprint so that it's not sinking into any sand. I can still get my pallet forks in there. Um, it's very stable now. This thing's not going to tip over. Um, so there's the front. We got, again, a, a, about a, I think that's eight or nine inches across there, uh, pad across the front. Uh, flip it around to the back, same type thing. Uh, we got two good feet on each side. We got the outriggers in here now to give us more stability. Um, and it's a much more stable platform than what we had started with. And um, anyway, I'm happy with it. This is what we're gonna go with. So I've got the ring ready to go on here. So let's go ahead and put the ring on here. So we'll be ready to go ahead and cast the bottom of the refractory. So we've got our uh, circles here bent up and um, a little bit about this. So this is, this is three inch wide, it's eighth inch uh, thick material. And uh, I needed to roll these into a circle. And uh, to do that, we used a roller and I was gonna actually take this to a uh, shop here in town, but my buddy, uh, Andy, uh, who helps me out here at the shop sometimes, he saw my first video and said, hey, we got a roller at work. So uh, one day, uh, the other day, I carried this material up there to, over lunch hour and we uh, bent these up real quick on just a little uh, commercial roller. Sorry, I didn't get any video of that, uh, but we were kind of in a hurry to get in and out and uh, get back to work. But anyway, we got the circles done and they need to be welded together. So when we did these, uh, they were a little bit longer at first and we cut them off. So I have a little, a little short piece here that's at that same angle. And what I've done here is I've I'm just uh, using some uh, vice grips and using that little short piece there as a back piece behind it to keep, keep the angle right. We've uh, clamped those together and uh, I'm going to come in here now and just weld uh, that seam closed uh, from the inside and then we'll do it from the outside.
So now we just need to weld uh, the ring down to the base. Now for a coat of uh, paint, we're using uh, just some Rust-Oleum uh, high heat paint here and a rattle can. Uh, this should be good. <laughs> 